Today's fun fact, Scott Gu, VP of Azure, always wears jeans and a red shirt when on stage. Why? Well, it seems to stem from about 10 years ago when a particular talk went really well and it felt like bad luck to change. And now everyone is so used to seeing the red shirt that the goo in a different color makes him pretty much invisible in a crowd. Today on the show, Azure Front Door gets Web Application Firewall support, Azure Functions get a new premium plan for more serverless action. Azure Alerts gets an overhaul. And we have a brand new Azure series starting on Acloud Guru. More on that later. You're watching Azure This Week, the show made real by Santa's Workshop in the off season. Azure Front Door is now in general availability and the new Web Application Firewall for Front Door is in public preview. How about that? Oh, you never heard of Front Door. Well, sorry about that. It is a scalable and secure entry point for fast delivery of your global applications and more specifically provides application and API acceleration through the global Azure network. Global HTTP load balancing, SSL offload to maintain performance, and now also the Web Application Firewall or WAF at the edge. The WAF is designed to protect you from multiple attack vectors such as injection type attacks and volumetric DOS attacks. And by being on the Azure Edge, meaning the Azure node closest to you, it leverages the scale and immediate security properties of the vast Azure network. When you use WAF at front door, your security policy management is centralized and any changes you make are instantaneously propagated to all the front door edges. You can try Web Application Firewall with Front Door today using Portal, ARM templates, or PowerShell. At Acloud Guru, we plant a tree every time a new serverless service is created. Or do we K? I oh, can't remember. Anyway, this week Azure Functions Premium Plan was released in preview. And with the premium plan, you can use pre-warmed instances to run your app with no delay after being idle. You can run on more powerful instances and you can connect to VNets, all while automatically scaling in response to load. If you have a critical application that is dependent on fast response times, but perhaps isn't used all the time, having a warm instance of your function will eliminate the standard cold time startup needed. Of course, you will pay for the instance to be running and waiting for your function to fire, but in a lot of cases, that is worth it. Furthermore, you can get up to 14 gigabytes of memory. You can limit the max number of instances that will be started. And on the other end, you can also define the minimum number of instances always ready for your functions. The alerts in Azure have always been useful, but the format and payload of each could kind of vary significantly, making any integration pieces cumbersome and frustrating. Good news. Alerts in Azure now have a common alert schema, making them all consistent. Any alert instance describes the resources that was affected and the course of the alert using an essential section and an alert context section as well. More good news is that it won't break your existing alerts either, as the old schemas will still be supported. The bad news is that you will have to update any existing alerts to the new schema if you want to use them. At a Cloud Guru, we are so in love with Azure and all the people that create, use, and consume the services that we have now created a brand new show. Please say hello to Azure Fireside Chats, a show hosted by me. I talk to experts, Microsoft Azure people, and other enthusiasts about the latest and greatest in Azure, and it is all for you. Yes, it is free, and the first seven episodes are live now with new episodes coming weekly. So go check it out. Phew, what a show. Azure never ceases to amaze me in the amount and quality of services they bring out. I'm going to study some of the latest additions in more detail right now, so I have to go. Until next time, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.